What's up my beautiful people? I am back! And I am back, no, not with a try on, but just to kind of chit chat with you guys. <laughs> so, I'm over here getting ready to start my day and stuff. Um, so, I figure while I'm sitting here starting my day, I can just talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> getting dressed, I should say. Getting dressed for my day. Um, so, yeah, I got a new video. I got another try on coming out um, sometime probably this week. Um, after this video. <laughs> and um, what else is new? Um, I just really, I've been focusing a lot on my podcast. I don't know if you guys have gone over and checked it out, but if not, head head on over, check it out. <clears throat> um, we talk about a lot of different topics, um, and it's the Sweet Cherry it's Sweet Cherry Podcast. Um, so if you guys have not gone and checked it out, go ahead and check it out. I already did all my um, moisturizing and stuff, so right now I, I'm trying out this new um, under eye brightener in a rose color. To kind of <laughs> to kind of try to hide the indent of my bags <laughs> aging is aging <laughs> yeah because um, my bags especially with my allergies woo, shit. I need I need some help here <laughs> my pores are pouring <laughs> So I started using um, a little bit of the um, poreless face primer. I'm not, I'm not really feeling this, um, but there is one. I want to try the Il Maquillage um, primer because that one looks bomb. But for now, this is what I got. So we're going to use what I got. But like, I don't see a big difference when I put this on. Like, it's supposed to mask the pores, but, um, I don't think it's masking anything. Do you guys see a difference? I don't know. Anyway. And most of them, you know, I think with a lot of us, the pores are, like, really just right in here in this area. So. Got my number 11s coming in. Yes. I've been thinking about like trying Botox, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. A little more here. I let it dry up a little bit. I don't have like heavy laugh lines. I mean, I have, but not. They're not heavy, you know. But I got heavy bags. I got heavy baggage. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's part of life, aging, you know? Just trying to slow it down a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've been working a lot um, on my um, podcast. Um, you know, trying to pop out videos there um, as much as possible. But I'm still doing my try-ons here, so I hope you guys enjoy my try-ons here still. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. My my focus has really just been on the podcast, um, and you know my other social media platforms. I've been trying to tap into my OnlyFans. You know, putting up more content on there. So if you guys haven't checked me out there, you can check me out there. OnlyFans.com/slash/mithlupe. And yeah. That's really what I've been focusing on lately. Um, the weather has been crazy. And, you know, just been hanging around. I don't really have any new beauty products I've been trying besides something. Oh, no, I'm lying. I got this blush. Watch out. So they had it with... Um, the L'Oreal, it's a L'Oreal blush, and they had it with their Halloween makeup, like, which is normal makeup, it's not like, right, it's not like, 
costume makeup, it's regular makeup, but I guess it's just extra colorful for Halloween. So yeah, so I got this this um, blush right here, and I am obsessed with it. It says, all right, so it says 24 hour fresh wear. No. Okay. Maybe if you have like matted skin, you know, like dry skin or something, but my skin, it, it's not dry, but it does get oily. And on top of all the moisturizers and my, you know, face care routine, it absorbs all of it'll it'll absorb my makeup <laughs> so <clears throat> which is why i'm sitting here with this on my face because i'm trying to let it <clears throat> dry a little bit so when i blend it out it'll it'll have a nice blend to it so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out just to you know you still you're still gonna see my baggage see But I'm going to go in on top of my concealer just to see how that goes. So essentially I'm trying out this eye brightener thing for you guys right now. I guess you would place it on areas you kind of want to mask and brighten. You know? What do you guys think? It definitely s there's no way to not see this because <laughs> they're just there <laughs> um, and then I go in with my you know concealer conceal the mustache <laughs> uh, and again where I put um the under eye so I use two different shades um on my face that's just me not everybody has to do that but um because when i was tanning um i was using a lot of sunblock on my face because i did not want to um i get um what they call um i forgot the proper name it starts with an m but it's a sun stash right so the pigment over here gets darker and it really looks like I have a mustache but I don't guys I really don't have a mustache I mean yes obviously we get hair here everybody gets hair there but it's not like mustache hair it's you know not thick like that but in the summertime if I'm my face gets too dark it accentuates this shadow over here so I've been using a lot of sunblock on my face throughout the summer um because I was getting, I was getting that, um, that sun sash. And it is a complex. <laughs> My ladies, you know. And because I don't really wear heavy makeup, like, I don't put foundation on my face. Like, this is what I do, right, I'm doing right now. This little concealing parts you know different sections I just do like my under eyes and stuff and around here and a little here and that's it I don't do much I feel like I have a hair here I do have a hair but I can't I don't know. I can't get it. Now I just took off. Whatever. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I was using a lot of the, um, sunblock to try to, you know, stop from getting this sun stash and this coloration on my face. This pigmentation that was driving me insane. You know, I don't know. I know it's a complex for women, a lot of women, um, and 
so that was trying my best i was even doing lemon and tu turmeric um mask and i would put it here because those are um natural um lightening um agents so to try to keep it light on my face or whatever and i wouldn't not bleach it or anything like that but just to keep the areas light where i wouldn't have that um whole stash thing going yeah i was trying it all guys and it works my problem is that i'm not consistent <laughs> so being I'm not, i wasn't consistent like it'll work and then if i'm not doing it all the time or i end up going in the sun and not wearing the proper um sunscreen and stuff then it could come back so So I would keep, you know, I would stop and then I would go back and stop and go back and stop and go back. So, so this is just how I really just blend out, you know, my makeup. And this is what I wear on my face, aside from the blush that I'll put on next. But like, as far as like makeup foundation and stuff like that, I don't really wear any of that. So. Ta-da! Not much of a difference. <laughs> but I, usually my concealers and everything that I use are very close to my skin color. Um, unless I'm looking for a really, really bright, 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 bright shine, you know, brightening look. Then I'll use something lighter. And then I, oh, I bought this Physician's Formula. Um... It says bronzer, but I, I don't really use it as a bronzer. I guess I do. I use it like as a contour. And I just do that here. A little here. They say make the number three. And you want to always go a little bit higher. There were your indent in your face cheeks are so you suck it in you want to go just above that to give you a nice contoured look I don't really do that so much because already I do it so much like I do this every day so it's not like and then I just bring a little down here this is my daily makeup. Put a little bit here. And just blend it all in. And I use this blush. I mean, this brush is like my favorite brush. I bought contour brushes. I bought blush brushes. I bought, I bought it all. But this always is my go-to when it comes to that. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but... And then this side. The shadowing gives you that more deepened look. And I don't go crazy. And now I'm going to show you this lovely, beautiful color here. This pink is everything. It says soft matte blush. What's the color? doesn't say the color on it? No! It doesn't say the color name. That sucks. Oh, Confident Pink. Confident Pink is what it's called. You only need a little bit because it's very, very pigmented. And now you just take a little bit Look, that was a lot. I can use that one for both sides. I don't even need any more. And ex the excess, just bring it around. 
and even that was a bit too much but it's okay because i said like it it melt into my skin so all the color doesn't stay i'll put some everywhere <laughs> um no but it it is a little too much um pinky for me so what i'm going to do is go in with this concealer brush that i was just using and just like blend and then with that I put it on top of the contour that I was just doing and um, it'll blend in I don't know if you guys are seeing all that here how this is projecting on the camera <laughs> so yeah so that's what I normally do but I'm obsessed with this and it's very pigmented, so a little goes a long way, guys. 100%. Don't need much. And then, um, what do I do? I brush my eyebrows. They need to get done. They're just like crazy. I'm not even gonna fill them or anything because the hairs are just crazy. I'm just gonna brush it. And then I'll go in with my, I have go-to eyeliners. Today I'll use brown. Usually I'll do brown. This makeup by Mario. Um, I don't even know what this makeup by Mario was the color. Soft brown. Or I got this at the 99 cent store. Oh, this is lip balm stain, but I've been using it on my eyes. <laughs> in this purple color love it so pretty i'm not putting it on my lips though i've been wearing it on my eyes <laughs> i'll put a little bit of this liner here you know i love Mac, uh, makeup by mario liners they're so bomb and then i'm gonna soften that with the brush at the end This is what I, how I do my makeup every day, guys. See those bags bagging? Yes. Love it. Bags are bagging. <laughs> and then I go in with a little bit of shadow. This is my go-to palette. This Tarte palette power bar because they're all different shades of like browns and stuff and then I'll just dip into this one put it at the top and the reason why I normally would not wear shadow I never used to wear shadow but why I do it is because now I wear um, you know I do a lot of eye creams on my eyes so just to kind of not have them be so creamy or greasy or anything i put a little i put the shadow on but you can barely see it you know it's like nothing crazy it's very natural and then i take a little bit on the bottom and then i'll go in with this shade to kind of just darken this outer corner here and i just bring it in the edges and above the hood close to and then the same on the other side I can't believe Halloween is already almost here that means Thanksgiving is almost here and so is Christmas I'm excited to put my Christmas tree up and this week I'm going to put my Halloween decorations out. Or finish them. I already... I pre-mix my fall and Halloween together. So all I have to do is just like add like my skulls and creepy stuff to everything else that I already have. 
And that's it for that. I'm done with those. And now I'll go in with some mascara. And then that's finished. This is the final finale of my makeup look. Daily makeup look here. Everybody made a big stink about this telescopic lift mascara. And like it's okay. I don't, but it definitely wasn't worth all the freaking hype. You know. I wasn't like super impressed. I have one go to mascara never fails me I love it and that is the benefit they're real I mean it gives me a nice little you know this one gives me a nice little gives me a nice lash you know but it was nothing like these makeup girls were like trying to throw out there like, oh my god look at that difference they're like the length of my hair <laughs> like stop it like it's all right it works nice but it's not like see it it works nice But I love my Benefit one. And the only reason why I'm not using my Benefit one is because I'm running out. <laughs> so. I decided I'm going to use this. I don't really like to use this one on my bottom line. Because bottom lashes. Because I don't know. The brush is funky. So usually I'll just, you know, I'll use a little bit of the Benefit one on the bottom lash. So I have like three of them that this one is like practically gone already. But I like to go over it with the, la with the um, brush. I love the Benefit brush. Look at that. And like really spruce out my lashes like that and then I'll go on the bottom and do it too and that's it that'll be my face that's my face for the day Here we go. I think we see the outcome better at this view. <laughs> yeah. And that's that that's it for the day. That's what I do. I don't do anything else. I have to do this hair because it's like a mess. I just got out the shower. So I gotta put my gels and not my gels, but my creams and stuff, so. Yeah, so I just came on here to show you my daily makeup. Talk to you guys about my um, podcast. And yeah, so just, guys, click the link. I mean, go into the description and click all the links. And just follow me, subscribe, like, all that stuff, alrighty? Because everything is there. <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching i will catch you guys on my next one like i always say don't forget to like share and subscribe comment down below and um give, make sure you give me the thumbs up follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you go 
you know, show me some support on my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com slash Miss Lupe. And I will catch you on the next one. Later!